Hi, my name's Gus. Um, I'm from Couple of Tools. You'll probably find me from Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I'll let you have a look at my tough van. Um, the van itself um, purchased two and a half years ago uh, as a bare shell. Um, I took six weeks off to build the, the majority of it. Um, most of it is built from a phenolic plywood, um, rubber floor and LED lights from LED. It. Um, we have a tough system rack which makes um, the boxes nice and easy to load and unload. So I decided to purchase a transit jumbo purely for the height and the size. Um, I wanted to be able to store up to four boxes wide. Um, various amount of power tools in here um, from grinders, sanders, planers, um, SDS guns, pond saws, you name it. Um, everything I've made easy access via tough system arms. So I can remove a box, grab the tool that I'm using, or take the box onto site um, and still be able to keep all the other boxes in place. I decided to go with tough system purely because the boxes are IP rated so they are waterproof and dustproof um, and the good thing is able to stand on them without them cracking. I've got a 2.6 meter rail up here for the plunge saw. Um, we've got a 1800 um, level on the back here, got the 4 foot level, 6 foot level and also got the two laser levels on the back here. I've got a Karshaw um, vac which I use for glass, mirrors etc just for finishing work of a, a job whether it be a kitchen or a bathroom. Here we've got the DeWalt radio um, Bluetooth which will run on the 10.8, 14.4 and 18 volt. I uh, use this mainly for small jobs so I don't actually have to bring out the tough system radio. Um, I've also got the uh, LED light here. We've got two props I use here for sheet work. Um, and I also have a steam mop just for cleaning up the, the floors at the, the end of a job. Two different hammers here. I've um, got the new construction hammer. I uh, had this imported over from the States. Uh, and uh, the basic demo hammer as well as the chisel and plasterboard saw. Um, here we've got the Stanley pole which I use alongside with the um, DeWalt lasers and the big bulldozer brush. Uh, I'll take you further into the van. Uh, I've got a section here which I use for miscellaneous um, pipe fittings, PPE, electrical work, uh, any sort of plumbing, tiling stuff. I just keep miscellaneous up here. I use the Stanley Fat Max boxes um, again for miscellaneous electrical and plumbing stuff. Um, I keep the DeWalt ones separate from the rest with the yellow tabs which are used for first aid. Um, down here, different couple of vacuums. Um, I've got the Henry vacuum here which I've had upgraded with a, a bigger motor. And I've got the DCV582 uh, which I've converted over to airlock. Um, makes it nice and easy to go onto any of the airlock tools such as the planer, punch saw etc. Again, more fat max boxes down here. Various different drill bits, cores, etc. Got my chisels, cores, and all that sort of thing. Down the bottom here, keep all my electrical drums, um, used for all different types of cabling. Um, back up here, just my miscellaneous shelves. I'm sure most builders' vans have <laughs> got miscellaneous shelves full of uh, lots of junk. Try and keep it as neat as I can, but it never seems to work that way. Um, down here, I've got the Stanley Fat Max um, technician's case, full of wearer goods, uh, wide stuff and fluke testers, um, DeWalt flooring nailer uh, and a couple of steamers and more miscellaneous stuff. Down here I've got a technician's bench which I pull out for doing miscellaneous um, fixings and uh, if I want to do anything within the van. Um, nice and easy access to push away and clear up the space in the van again. Uh, over here, I uh, call this my, my flex folk section. So I've got the uh, DCS777 um, flex volt miter saw, uh, keep all my flex volt batteries here, quick charger and a few USB at the back. Um, I keep the brushless blow vac up here as well as some construction blades just for easy access for the miter saw and the table saw. So down here we have the flex volt table saw and we keep two coats in here, easy access for just miscellaneous, keep my plumbing and miscellaneous joinery work. 
easy enough to slide back and lock back into place. In here we have the miter saw stand, uh, ideal for the table saw and miter saw. Um, keep my 1.5 meter plunge saw rails, as well as a, a shortened rail just for small door work. Uh, in behind here we have a 3 meter by 3 meter gazebo, just obviously being in Scotland the weather's not the best all the time. And keep miscellaneous brushes etc at the back. Here we have the, the stand for the, the table saw itself. Uh, opted for the lighter one because obviously I'm carrying a fair bit of weight in here. Um, so the lighter one worked better for me. We've got the new tripod light here, which is fantastic. Runtime is phenomenal. Um, very well built and I decided to mount this up high out the road since I was getting quite limited to space. Um, and round this side. I've got my holster, which will keep all my basic stuff for construction. A DeWalt jig here uh, for all worktops, um, and that's pretty much the, the walk through the, the back of the van.